Chapter 30 This is another message that came to me from the Lord. Son of man, prophesy and give this message from the Sovereign Lord. Weep, for the terrible day is almost here, the day of the Lord. It is a day of clouds and gloom, a day of despair for the nations. A sword will come against Egypt, and those who are slaughtered will cover the ground. Their wealth will be carried away and their foundations destroyed. The land of Ethiopia will be ravished. Ethiopia, Libya, Lydia, and Arabia, with all their other allies, will be destroyed in that war. For this is what the Lord says, All of Egypt's allies will fall, and the pride of their power will end. From Migdal to Aswan they will be slaughtered by the sword, says the Sovereign Lord. Egypt will be desolate, surrounded by desolate nations, and its cities will be in ruins, surrounded by other ruined cities. And the people of Egypt will know that I am the Lord when I have set Egypt on fire and destroyed all their allies. At that time I will send swift messengers in ships to terrify the complacent Ethiopians. Great panic will come upon them on that day of Egypt's certain destruction. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, Through King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon I will destroy the hordes of Egypt. He and his armies, ruthless among the nations, have been sent to demolish the land. They will make war against Egypt until slaughtered Egyptians cover the ground. I will dry up the Nile River and hand the land over to wicked men. I will destroy the land of Egypt and everything in it, using foreigners to do it. I, the Lord, have spoken. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. I will smash the idols of Egypt and the images at Memphis. There will be no rulers left in Egypt. Anarchy will prevail throughout the land. I will destroy Pothros, Zoan, and Thebes. They will lie in ruins burned up by my anger. I will pour out my fury on Pelusium, the strongest fortress of Egypt, and I will stamp out the people of Thebes. Yes, I will set fire to all Egypt. Pelusium will be racked with pain, Thebes will be torn apart, Memphis will live in constant terror. The young men of Heliopolis and Bubastis will die in battle, and the women will be taken away as slaves. When I come to break the proud strength of Egypt, it will be a dark day for Tapanese too. A dark cloud will cover Tapanese, and its daughters will be led away as captives. And so I will greatly punish Egypt, and they will know that I am the Lord. On April 29th, during the 11th year of King Jehoiachin's captivity, this message came to me from the Lord. Son of man, I have broken the arm of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. His arm has not been put in a cast so that it may heal. Neither has it been bound up with a splint to make it strong enough to hold a sword. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am the enemy of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. I will break both of his arms, the good arm along with the broken one, and I will make his sword clatter to the ground. I will scatter the Egyptians to many lands throughout the world. I will strengthen the arms of Babylon's king and put my sword in his hand. But I will break the arms of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he will lie there mortally wounded, groaning in pain. I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, while the arms of Pharaoh fall useless to his sides. And when I put my sword in the hand of Babylon's king, and he brings it against the land of Egypt, Egypt will know that I am the Lord. I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations. Then they will know that I am the Lord.